On the second day of our visit at Krishna's house, we decided to take a break from our work and go out on a little excursion in the woods. We had been scraping the wallpaper off the wall since nine that morning. We left at close to three during the afternoon in Krishna's Volkswagen van. Krishna was driving. Louis, my brother, was sitting next to him, and I was resting in the back seat. We turned into a little road less than half a mile from the house. We passed a little clearing that would be the perfect spot for a meditation meeting place. Unfortunately, the clearing was not part of the 200 acres recently purchased by Krishna. Krishna was interested in the possibilities of buying it, and both of us agreed that it would be a good idea. We went up many hills and reached a separation in the road. We took the left fork as Lou and Krishna had previously seen the right fork. We traveled along the road, admiring the woods around us until we came to a point where it was impracticable for the van. So we got out of the van and walked on. The woods breathed peace all around us, and the serene beauty made us cease our prattling. At one point, we departed from the road, wandering deep into the beauty. It was slowly getting dark, and we wished to return to our van. Quickly the problem arose. Each of us had a different idea of the van's direction. We dimly realized the silliness and the seriousness of our situation. I am right, cried each of us. I know where to go. Krishna aimed at a direction which to me seemed even deeper into the woods. I aimed in a direction opposite to his, and Lou said nothing. Yet deep in our minds stuck the fearful thought, we are lost. What followed was a battle of the wills. Which one is right? This is serious, Matt. Do not laugh. We could be lost, said Krishna to me. I wanted to shout out, I know that I am right. But his words struck doubt in me. He was so sure of himself, and my respect for him stopped any words of harm. But Krishna saw in my mind, saw my doubt in myself and in him. Very well, Matt. Let's follow you, he spoke. So we walked in my direction. But inside me, my thoughts clambered on. This was too much of a contest, to see who is right, and all the time I could feel his doubts gnawing inside me. As I gave up my feelings of rightness, and as Krishna said, Matt, I don't think you know where we are, as all that happened, we walked onto the road. It was as if God had wished for us to cease our games and lead us to the path of the right. Krishna apologized and made me the chief woodsman, but the harm remained. And as we found the van, as we all sighed our relief at being in familiar surroundings, as all this happened, my thoughts shouted in painful silence, We are lost. <laughs>